Chuck, I got to I got something to tell you about color. Oh, oh, you know what, Neil? I'm sorry, but this conversation won't work because I don't see color. <laughs> see color. <laughs> so that's just who I am. I'm sorry. Okay. You know, I, you might want to go find some other person to tell your racist tale to. <laughs> So uh, color is a huge subject, and it's way more than I can cover in this uh, short video. But a couple of things. I just want you to know that we in my, my people, my astrophysics community, uh, we think about color all the time. Yeah, it's one I, of the bits of... I, I kind of noticed that. <laughs> Stop. No, we can, we can uh, it's one of the bits of information you get from an object at a distance because you can't go there. Oh, so you, you, you measure I, thought, how I, I thought you were talking about every time we go somewhere, you're the only black astrophysicist <laughs> I see. We got a few more. There's a few uh, more there. Now. Yeah. OK, go ahead. Um, so. Uh, so you can. So bits how, of information that you're getting from an object that. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so we can know how bright it is. You can know where it is on the sky. You can detect if it's moving and you can take its light and break it up into its spectrum, into its rainbow, and you can see how many different colors compose the light that you see. Because your eye doesn't break it up into the spectrum the way the, the visor does, Geordi's visor in um, Star Trek Next Generation. Star Trek Next Generation. So yes. Geordi sees all bands of light and all, the entire spectrum, which is a far more superior form of sight than what we have. What we have, we take light, it, we, it blends all into one sort of, quote, color image. Um, but th there are ways to split it all apart in case something is revealing itself in one place and not another. You can identify certain chemical features in an object. All right, that's not even why I'm, I'm bringing this up. I'm just saying we care and think a lot about the colors of things. All right. Do, do you remember, was it, what color is the dress? What was that thing that Yes, the that internet? was a... Um, a a YouTube sensation, not YouTube. It, it, it was a, a, a internet sensation. Social media, sensation yeah, okay. Where, so if you, you would either see a blue dress or a gold dress, but it was basically white, supposedly. Yeah, so, so the point there is, um, I don't care what you see. I care what it is. So I would get a device out that measured how much light energy is coming from that dress in each of the bits of the spectrum. And then I can quantify that and give a quantified exact measure of what the color is. By the way, the, by the, way, the, the, the um, internet websites do that. Colors are numbers, okay? Yes. Right? It's, it's a combination of numbers and that's the color. I, I don't care what your, your rods and cones and your retina are doing. I don't care what your state of mind is. I don't care if you're on LSD. Right. That is a color and it's highly reproducible when you have it defined. Yeah, that way that way you don't look at the gradient and say, well, that looks like it might be it. It's like, no, it's 362. Exactly, exactly. And so I can take a machine. That's why the triumphs of science in modern times, or since Galileo, uh, you can measure the triumphs of science by how effectively it has replaced our physiological senses that we had been using before then. So the, the telescope replaces and microscope replace our eyes to see far away things and small things and dim things. And so, so when you improve our senses, you can make discoveries that we could not have made otherwise. All right, so that's why the color of the dress, I just thought, all right, people, you can fight over it, but the scientists aren't fighting over the color of the dress. All right, so here's, here's the point I wanna make. Um, if you have an apple, Okay, traditional apple, what color is it? Red, right. Okay, so you're gonna say the apple is red. Let me hear you utter that sentence. The apple is red. Okay, so the very construction of that sentence implies that you are describing something intrinsic, an intrinsic property of that apple. Right. Am I, would I be wrong to no, say that? No, it's making that what the apple possesses that color. P possesses that color, and the apple is round, you can say things about it that are the properties of the apple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's a problem. The only way you know the apple is red is because any red light that was in the white light that's illuminating it, because white, as shown by Isaac Newton, is comprised of 
red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. All right. So, so white light is composed of colors. That's good because when you illuminate a scene with white light, the red things reflect the red, the blue things, it's, it's, it's using all of those colors in the rainbow to reveal what color they are. Okay. That's why things are different colors in a room. It's because your source of light is white that contains all those colors available to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So here's my point. So white light is the color police. I get it. <laughs> <It's> the... <laughs> I get it. Why does everything got to be? <laughs> uh, the white light <laughs> the is white, the, police. the white light is identifying all the other colors. The, uh, the white light is, <laughs> is, is, is calling out your color. Calling it out. I it's, got you. It's right. calling out the white I, I'm like. sorry, Apple. We had to pull you over. You fit the description. <laughs> description of what the... <laughs> Somebody said they just saw something red. Right. That's all, the, the That's red all thing. we needed. That's all we needed. <laughs> That's all we needed. Saw red. It was, it was red. Uh, Got to get that apple. Got to go get that apple. <laughs> it's red. What's right. It? Yeah. Oh, oh why it got to be an apple? <laughs> Couldn't have been lips. red. Couldn't have been lipstick. Could have been lipstick, huh? Had to be an app. <laughs> so, so anyway. All right. So, so white white light is basically I, uh, it, it's letting, got all every, the colors. letting everything tell, tell what it is by reflecting okay. back to it. So it now is. watch. Okay. So here comes the white light upon the apple. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, here it comes. Now, the only reason why the apple is red is because it rejected the red that it was fed. Oh, gotcha. And absorbed all, all other colors, other colors. in the spectrum. So the rejection of the red is what we're seeing with our eyes. Correct. That's, that's why we call it red. You call it red because that's not what it is. Right. That's what it's sent back, back to, to you. Me. Right. Okay. There is no red in, around, among that apple because the apple sent it back to you. So the, our very language that says the apple is red is logically flawed given what I'm telling you about light. The apple is the orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That's got stuck into the skin of the apple. That's all absorbed into it. That's what it is. What it isn't is red as an inherent property. Wow. Of wow. Wow. Uh, it's weird. Now, we can just accept just co colloquially that a red object is red. Right. We can just say that. But right. I'm just saying, if you go to the surface molecules of the red object, there is no red there. Right. It all got sent back to you. That's amazing. It's, I love it because it's, like you say, um, it's red is really the reference. It's not what it is. It's not what it is. It's not That's what it correct. is. It's the reference. Wow. So I just thought I'd, I'd tell you that. And, and by the way, if you have light that contains no red in it. Okay. Okay. So you could take sort of um, what they used to call black light, so an ultraviolet yeah. light, ultraviolet or, lights, yeah, or, or very pure um, uh, a tube light, like a um, like. Do they still have the sodium lamps? Not the like like the, the ones that are very yellow, um, the very yellow sodium lamps in the streets. I don't know if they still have those. Not anymore, but you you'll you'll find them in like older places oh, right? in older places right so, so what you do is take an apple and bring it up to that lamp you know what color the apple is no <laughs> red and yellow no What's no it can't be red because no. the light source has no red no i'm saying what's that what's that what does that make so oh what, what, what no no i'm saying give it a light source that contains no red oh okay and bring an apple into that light source oh i don't know what color it'll be the apple will be black. Black. Now see. Black. See, now. It absorbed, if it absorbs the colors, then nothing's coming back to your eyes. Yeah, well, see, here's That's the how that works. No, nah, here's the problem with that, man. Okay. Don't nobody Go want on. no, don't nobody want no black apple. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just saying. Don't tell nobody want no black apple. Okay. Now, now I'm just saying. Uh, you know, I, 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 I love. Listen, I love black. I love black. I love being black. Love I love. You, it. You, okay. But you ain't but in a black apple. I ain't no black, ain't nobody tell nobody want no black okay. apple. Okay. So next time, just <laughs> change the lighting. That's all it takes. <laughs> I forgot when you say all the colors because I forgot black is the mixture of all colors. No, no, black is the absence of. I mean, colors. the absence of co all colors. So yeah, so if nothing, so, no, right, all, right, white is all the colors. Black mixed together is, in light. Right, black mixed is together the absence in black of all is colors. all colors gone. Right. So if if right, that's what you would. By say. the way, when you mix all the colors of light, the fact that they make white is a little freaky to the artist. It's a little freaky. It is a little because when they mix paint, it doesn't. You don't get white, but light mixed together, you get white light. Right. All those colors, and if you, colors are not coming to your eye, the thing just becomes black. There it is. Nothing. You know, and black. it's so funny because I knowing that I know I'm still can't see the black apple because I and I know that black is the absence of color, and I'm still trying to think like it's not only the absence of color, it's the absence of light. That's what I mean. At all. That's is, right. The, the, My I've, point is. White light hits the apple, the apple looks red because right. it reflects only red light. I absorbed it. all the other colors. Now have a light source with no red. Right. Then it so can't, it nothing's can't be, coming to you. Nothing it's comes back, it's got to be black. It's got to be black. black what, what, what will happen in the absence of color with light, you will not see anything because there's nothing coming back. Correct. Correct. And, no, I get it 100%. Oh, by the way, by the way, the I, blue object will be blue next to right. it. And the, and other things, there's a yellow and there's a green. I think right. the apple goes black. Right. Right. That makes perfect okay. sense. Let me take it up a notch. What? I could not get my head around a black apple. Clearly, you couldn't. Okay. <laughs> so now, let's take it up a notch. Go ahead. And then we got to call it quits. Okay. You ready? Go for it. Um, I did this experiment in a telescope dome. But when you're in a telescope at night, we, we have what's called night lighting, which is very deep red lights that still enable you to see the darkened skies. It's called dark adapting because your eye goes through this. You might notice um, if you yeah, wake up in the middle of the night and, right. and put on the, the bathroom lights, you're like, well, exactly. I can't. You have to dark adapt. All right? right. And once you're dark adapted, everything's fine. We do this at the telescope dome. Okay. So the telescope lights tend to be deep amber and sometimes deep red. Okay. Um, I saw a can on the shelf. It was a soda can. And there was nothing written on it. Nothing. Right. The whole the whole can was red. And it was, how can there be nothing? What? 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 Turn on the lights. Guess what can it was? Uh, what color was the, the dark adapt? It was, it was a red. Okay, so that would have been... Hmm, I'm trying to think which. The whole can was red, though. No, the whole can was red. Mm -hmm. But I saw no detail on the can. No detail on the can. It was just a pure red can. It was like, what? This is America. Everything we have has a surface with surface. ads on it and right. names and products and everything. So, so you know what it was? Coca Cola. Coca Cola can. Right. It was yeah. a Coca Cola can. Why? Yeah. Because the red on the Coca Cola can reflects what? The red light. The red light. The white on the Coca-Cola can reflects what? Um, wow. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, the white light. So, right, right? No. What is it? White is... Wait a minute. Now I'm confused because he <laughs> okay. got me. Okay, so, so, so white light reflects all colors. That's what I said. All, all of because it's white light. But, but I'm not handing it all colors. Right. You're on, oh, that's... I forgot. We're in the dark adapt. Yes. So, there you go. So, the point is, the red... Reflected the red light. Gotcha. The white reflected the red light. Right. So there was no contrast between, between the two. The, the two. Right. And all of the printing on that can disappeared. That's kind of cool. Very cool. I like that. Very uh, cool. We should send this to Coca Cola. <laughs> now, there's a friend of mine in college who, uh, in our physics class, he was you were allowed to have a single sheet of handwritten notes a crib sheet basically for yourself but it had to fit on this single sheet of paper and so that was the rule so everyone prepared theirs and i saw this guy's sheet and you couldn't even read it it was like what did you do so what he did was he wrote in three different color pen inks on top on top of itself so it doesn't make a difference and then he, he brought the filters, filters to end <laughs> okay Guys, let me tell you something. So you got three I'll, times as much information on it. 
I would have given him an A just for that. <laughs> so, Chuck, that's it. Uh, there's so much more. We can do five more color episodes, but I just want to get it out there that uh, a, an object isn't really its color. Please tell that to this one officer. <laughs> to the police department. <laughs> Please. You have to turn this into a Black Lives Matter episode. Okay. Fine. Please, officer, I just listened to Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. And he said. Right. By the way, officer, you are wasting your time stopping me as a taxpaying white man. <laughs> because I absorbed all those because colors. I absorbed all the colors. <laughs> so, all right, Chuck, we've got to call it quits there. All righty. Good to have you, Chuck. Always a pleasure. All right. Star Talk Cosmic Explainers. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking out. <laughs>